Yeah, what's up? I feel like I'm watching a sizzle roll that be playing at a GameStop. And European future attorneys will finally be able to get their hands on the great Ace Attorney adventures. I am not going to be surprised if I see at least two of these announcements get replayed on a Nintendo stream tomorrow. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> right. God, I hope not. <laughs> <laughs> this is also well, this is what I'm excited for. Uh, I was interested in this, and I, I'm glad it, it, it's just not being confined to the Japanese market. Yeah, I'm excited to get this. I'm happy for you guys. Ace Attorney is a, is a great series. Not all winners, I, but well, it's a great series overall. <laughs> That said, the only thing that I have, like, sort of against it, and this is not really, I, I'm, it's, it's nothing, but it's like, the presentation of the, uh, of everything happening reminds me of the yeah. Ace Attorney Professor Layton crossover, which I was not a fan of, because... Is, uh, that, what, is that what this is? No, no, it, this is just a, this is a, it's an Ace Attorney game set, uh, like, early In... 20th century or late 19th century? <laughs> Goals. With our with our boy Herlock Scholes. Yeah, basically, yeah. <laughs> the game oh, is the foot. No, it's a game. No. <laughs> oh, no. The foot oh, is no. a game. We can't we can't say the real one because we'll, we'll get sued. Isn't that right, Herlock? I mean, a foot is a game depending on what OnlyFans site you're on. <laughs> I I like I played one. I played the first Ace Attorney, and I liked it. I thought it was a lot of fun. I just I never I had an inclination to go to me, play the other ones. My, my, my I thing is... I honestly thought that um, you're about to talk about feet games. If you <laughs> played the first game and you really enjoyed it, the most I'll say is you got to complete the trilogy. Like, complete the original okay. three. Yeah, like, after I that, like it. you leave it up to you if you want to play Apollo. I mean, I don't like Apollo Justice, but it, I still think it has the best soundtrack of all of them. <laughs> uh, so, Apollo got Justice. Draco lost. Yeah. <laughs> I'm looking how Wrong they Apollo. gave a setting. <laughs> they gave a setting for England, and it looks like you're pretty much in that game's Chinatown. <laughs> Eat your hamburger. I can't wait to see London's take on Chinatown. And summation examination. Hello, I'm Jonathan, Capcom's marketing brand manager for the Great Ace Attorney. I thought that was like the Ace Attorney dude. I was like, hello, I'm Great Ace Attorney, <laughs> and I'm here to show you my game. Great Keep Ace Attorney. Capcom team is thrilled to present two new gameplay features: dance and production. You'll never beat that guy in li in litigation. Coming that guy's an Ace Attorney. attorney. Oh, oh, you said it. it. Said it, boys. <laughs> Just roll credits. <laughs> what? Yeah, what? That's so a very the fuck am I here? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, someone asked in my chat, "What's wrong with Apollo Justice?" <laughs> what do I begin? <laughs> <laughs> oh boy. The, that's Apollo a the, I'm sorry, that's a, that's a that's a great boxer. That's a that's a lot to unpack. I can't answer that right now in the middle of this presentation. Is it, is it a dumb story or is it bad character? It's a give me it, that. It, it's a lot. Okay. <laughs> hey, I thought Apollo Justice was a great movie. It was a worthy successful successor to Rocky. In that's my Creed. Oh. Yeah, I'm pretty sure Apollo Justice was its work in progress, they Matt. <laughs> <laughs> more uh, more I, Creed two. More Creed two. I, I can't really say anything about Apollo Justice because I took John and Ted's advice to stay away from it. Uh -oh. I mean, it's... See, you never know. You might like it. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Again, I'll defend the soundtrack of Apollo Justice. Hey, he's like me. Phenomenal. What? Holding the scissors uh, out? His, his, yeah, no, his the scissors. neck beard. I, I'm holding scissors in my hand. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh, on the neck beard, so... <laughs> Look at that nose. I wanted to tip his little hat. There I go, lady. Or something like that. <laughs> I don't know. Would Herlock show him the same lady, or we go, or we just try to be hip the same ma'am? <laughs> <laughs> Does he have a stutter? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you gave it away. I love how Bullet dramatic Bush. they are with everything. Bullet bullshit. I love like that. No, it's Borshevik. Uh, I love how, Sherlock Holmes definitely would be the guy that says debate me on Twitter. <laughs> I, I, I just I love how every Phoenix Wright character has to be over the top. They could be explaining how to make macaroni and cheese, and they're doing flips and flares and poses, and it's just fucking wonderful. Ace, just put the fucking macaroni in the pot, man. Ace, dude, for the love of God, you burnt the cheese. <laughs> As players present new evidence and observations, you are going to use those scissors to cut your beard. 
I was gonna use scissors to cut the paper, you jock off! I'm guessing they put that disguise on a big rush, because how the fuck do you miss hiding your locks inside your jacket? Semi literal dance that brings them to the conclusion of the dance of deduction. See, I didn't think that was a narrative right, at first. I thought the voice, if it was I thought wrong, the voice I... that it was just super wooden. If these two were wrong, I would have been completely pissed off at him at this point. Like, I'm yeah. gonna stab you fuckers with the scissors and give you a reason to accuse me. <laughs> That's so obvious of a thing, though. Like, how do you not see long blonde hair? I wanted, <laughs> I wanted up front. Were they in a pile of hay? <laughs> I mean, that would block blonde hair, right? Someone like, said there's a fidget spinner movie in the works. Huh? Sure, why not? Yeah. Like, I, I, I'm not going to lie. <laughs> Forgetting to hide your hair like that, that is the dumbest disguise <laughs> ever. <laughs> That's Pop worse Loba, than wearing Pop a sign Loba, that said, Pop I Loba. did it. You're better with the beard. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, my boner's gone. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if mine just got here. <laughs> um, where did the random weight go? Because that was a portly dude. <laughs> <laughs> and, and then she she took the life vest. She took the beard off and lost yeah. fifty pounds. It, it was like uh, Inspector Gadget. <laughs> <laughs> he had the thing that would inflate his coat. Representing a not guilty. So like the the scales tip, I guess, as you progress through the case, and yeah. when it tips on the other side, I mean, to one basically. And I'm gonna tell you right now, if you want to get past this sequence, this is what you do. All right, tip number one: don't steal the guy's lunch when he's not looking. You'll have to identify. Tip number two: help the little girl find her kitten. Examine each statement carefully. You know when that? You know when um? I just I just remember that tweet looking at this post. When uh, when uh, when uh, the Japanese want you to know what character they design is white, they want you. They will make it easily known. <laughs> that guy is American. Oh, they yeah, love the hair. <laughs> they they make them egregiously American. Oh God, you know what the best example of that was? Fucking Lieutenant Surge. They might just change their mind. Besides them being called a lightning American <laughs> in like OG Gen 1. And the, and the fact that what in the anime he was like an eight foot tall monster of yeah. a man. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah, so the way you, you're interrogating or at least cross uh, examining uh, multiple witnesses lined up like this is very oh. Ace Attorney cross Professor Layton. Yeah. This is just yeah, that's Edgeworth right there. Exciting new gameplay features in the great. Yeah, sir, wine glass of the fucking thing like Dracula. That's a. Uh, what was her name? Mia. Maya. Uh, Maya. Uh, Maya. That's her right there. Yeah. I mean, Mia's not wrong either. That's the older sister. Yeah. <laughs> True. I'm a yeah. Mia. Exciting new adventures and titles to look forward to. Well, that's a look at the new premieres from Capcom. But what about esports? Let's close Are there any yeah, what about esports? <laughs> from two of the stars of Capcom Fighters, Rob TV. Hey, uh, you guys remember Street Fighter Five? I wish we didn't. Capcom